RC enthusiasts, it's your host Tom Cox from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC, here to give you guys a quick hit tutorial on something that I'm really excited to show you, and it's a new update that increases the benefits of using a smart Avian ESC. So this update is available now, and I'll have a link down in the comments and on the description of this video so you can follow through on how to update your ESC and get you this new exciting menu that is offered with the Avian ESCs. Essentially what this update does is that it takes the programmer box that you would use to program your ESC and update your ESC and it puts all that programming in the palm of your hands. Super cool stuff and I'm going to walk you through it. A couple things that I want to note beforehand is that you do have to have, like I said, a smart Avian ESC, and it does have to be a smart compatible receiver. Most of the receivers that we sell nowadays are smart compatible. You'll easily be able to tell if it has a smart logo on the label, or if you check for updates and it says that it updates for smart ESCs. This is an AR410. Uh, it does come out of the box nowadays with smart already on it and those ones will have the smart logo on the label but also uh, you can if you have the older version you can update it for smart this also includes the ar620 the ar630 the ar637t pretty much anything current nowadays so let's go ahead and delve into what we're looking at here so it's a new menu that you're going to have access to and it uses the text gen prompt if you guys aren't familiar with that it's something that we've actually used for different programming interfaces in the past things like heli flight controllers have used it before beta flight flight controllers for for quadcopters has used it before and it's a menu so it's actually part of telemetry and if you scroll all the way to the right it's gonna show Avian Prog at the top of your, your radio here. And it's gonna give you kind of a step-by-step -step on how to enter the menu. And it does use the stick movement to do it. Now this new Avian Prog feature on your radio is not only for the NX radios. It will work with an IX12, an IX20, and any of the DX Gen 2 radios. Like I said, they just need to be up to date. And this is something that's been used in the past with many other devices and it will be used more in the future. We're gonna try and enter it, but it's actually not gonna work this time, and I'm gonna go through a couple of troubleshooting tips of why it may not work. So essentially the first step is you go full left and full up elevator, so it's that bottom left corner on your aileron stick, at least if you're running mode two, like that, but it's not going into the next step. And the reason it's doing that is because the ESC, this menu will kind of time out after about 30 seconds. If it doesn't see you entering this menu, it'll time out. So simply unplug your battery and plug it back in. Like so. A couple of troubleshooting tips into entering this menu. It does want to see full 100% of your stick's movements. So if you're having trouble getting into this menu, go to your monitor screen and confirm that you're getting 100% movement on both of those aileron and elevator control channels. If you're not, you might have dual rates turned on, you might have a mix going on, something along those lines. Another troubleshooting tip for getting into this menu, and this is if you are getting 100% movement on your aileron and elevator stick and it's still not going into it, and you've recently powered on the ESC, like I said, you need to make sure that you are trying to access menu pretty much immediately after you've plugged in your battery is to turn off safe. If you're in any sort of a safe mode on your receiver, if you've got a receiver that's got AS3X and safe in it, sometimes safe will be inhibiting or essentially decreasing the channel uh, values, that 100% value on its own. So just go ahead and put your receiver into your AS3X mode or your AS3X safe off mode, something like that. Then try it again. Another troubleshooting tip if you go into here and you, you aren't getting this avian prog menu, double check that your radio is, of course, up to date, that your receiver is up to date, and also make sure that when you go to telemetry, and it should do this automatically, try hitting the auto config to try to preset up that. If It should pop up automatically if you are up to date, but try auto config if not. 
And now I'm using an Avian 15 amp ESC just because it's simple and small, but this update is going to be available for every Avian ESC. If it says Avian on it, you update it, you'll have this capability. All right, so we're gonna go bottom left and watch the screen. Bottom right, see step two, it says hold for right or right aileron. And there we have it. Now we're in this new menu. So like I was saying, essentially what this does is it gives you access to everything that was on the Spectrum Programmer. It also allows you to have some of the new features with this update, which we're gonna go over. It does use the aileron and elevator controls to change this menu. Let's zoom in and take a better look. All right, so like I was saying, you use the elevator and the aileron to make selections. We push up and down, you'll see the little arrow will move along with it. And you just keep going down to go to the next page, like so. And if you wanna change a selection or make a selection, you go right or left on the stick. So if we wanted to change it to helicopter store governor mode, we can, we'll keep it on fixed wing. One thing that I wanna show off to you guys is the new capability for you to assign reversing to your motor. So if you go to brake type and change it, we got normal brake type, proportional brake type, and then reverse. This is really interesting, guys. You're gonna love it. We'll keep going down. And that turns on reversing, but you also have to select a channel and by default, thrust reversing, which is what that menu will be uh, indicating, is on channel seven. And yes, I am using a four channel receiver, but it is listening to up to nine channels off of your transmitter to be able to assign that reversing to an open channel on your radio. Really interesting stuff. So once we've made that selection, you would go to exit with save, Go right. And the ESC will reset. You'll even hear the tones. You may have heard it there where it goes doo -doo -doo -doo, and then counts the cells and reinitializes the ESC. At this point, now I have reversing set up. Let's go ahead and go through some of the new menu options that are available. And these menu options, like I was saying, they are on here as well, but now it's in the palm of your hands. So we're gonna go full left and up, full right and up. So some of the new options here is governor gain. It defaults at level one, but you can go up to, I wanna say it's level four is the highest, well, level three. So, so what is governor gain? And essentially it is if you're using the heli store governor mode on your, your motor, your ESC, it's gonna be how much it's going to try to keep that RPM. So a governor is, it's gonna keep the RPM say at 7,000 RPM when you throttle up and you go to a certain flight curve. And if there's anything that's gonna cause a load on the motor, it's going to try to push against that to keep it at 7,000 RPM. And the higher the level, the harder it's gonna work to achieve that goal of keeping a certain RPM. Adjust as necessary, it's gonna be kind of dependent on your motor setup and your size of helicopter or your application. The next new one is AR time. This is auto rotation time. There's a way for you to set it up so, and this is another heli thing, if you go into an auto rotation, which is where you th cut the throttle in midair and the heli is slowly spooling down on its own, but let's say, oh no, I feel like I'm about to lose control, I need to get out of this auto rotation, you can flip the switch back out of throttle cut or throttle hold and throttle out. So it essentially turns off the soft start for that small period of time. The restart Excel is how fast it will restart the, the main rotor to that governed RPM. So once you flip the, the switch, your, your throttle hold switch off, it's gonna take it one and a half seconds to get up to say 3000 RPM. And then like we discussed with thrust reverse, 
the thrust reverse channel, you can assign this between channels five, six, seven, eight, or nine. The ESC is listening to those nine channels and that's all through the throttle port. So you don't have to plug in anything extra into the receiver to get this to function. You just set it up that way and it will be listening to that channel. And if you want to go back to default, you can. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit exit and save. And I'll show you how the throttle reversing works. So like I said, it's listening to channel seven on my radio. And as you guys might know, but maybe you don't, the NX6, even though it says it's a six channel, it has kind of a dummy seventh channel for you to be able to flip a switch. I think I have it on, which one did I put it on? This one. So I put it on the B switch. So if you're looking at the monitor here, AUX2 is the seventh channel. And when I flip the switch to negative 100, I throttle up, my motor is going one way, I flip the switch, now it's going the other way. Really cool stuff. So now you can have throttle reversing or motor reversing on pretty much any model that you have a Avian electric ESC in. All right, and that's that for how to use the Avian prog menu on your Spectrum transmitter. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Or if you have any other suggestions for more Spectrum how-to videos, also feel free to leave those in the comments below. This is Tom signing off. Happy flying, everybody.